You can use Apple Motion's program to create dynamic pane effects. In this example, let's create a stream of light that passes underneath a lower third title. Within Apple Motion, press Command 4 and Command 7 to bring forward the Timeline and Layer Window tabs. Click on the Text tool. Then type a title in the bottom portion of the Canvas window. Click on the HUD or Heads Up Display button. Pick a font type and size for your title. Use the arrow tool to reposition the title towards the bottom center of the canvas. Within the inspector window, click on the text and style tabs. Go ahead and choose one of Motion's preset styles for your title. Within the Motion toolbar, click on the paint tool. Then click on the HUD button. Make sure the Write On checkbox is activated. Choose a pre-built paintbrush style supplied with Apple Motion. Go ahead and draw a line across your title. The speed at which you draw here is actually important. Press play in the timeline window. The light streak will appear over the top of the title. You can increase or decrease the length of the light streak by adjusting this behavior track for the write-on effect. Decreasing the length of the behavior track actually increases the length of the streak. Next, let's change the layer order so the light streak appears underneath the title. Play the timeline to watch the effect. The last step is to save the motion project as a template so it can be used directly within Final Cut Pro. For other great tips and tricks like these, or to enroll in an Apple Motion training course, visit GeniusDV.com.